Chris, President Obama says there needs to be a credible international investigation of this plane shoot down yesterday. But given where it happened, the contested area where it happened, that's going to be tough, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, and, you know, there's been talk about some kind of a, uh, a, a safe haven allowing international investigators to come to the crash site. You know, it, it, it's like a crime scene. It's like CSI, and you need to see uh, the, the, the spread uh, of all of the remains of the plane, all the remains of the people. Uh, you need to see any evidence uh, of a missile. Uh, you need to, you, there are all kinds of things. You need to recover the black boxes. Uh, and, you know, there's every reason to believe, or at least to suspect, that the uh, pro-Russian separatists who control that part of eastern Ukraine are cleaning up the scene, removing any damaging evidence. There have been reports that they've already taken the black boxes to Moscow, which doesn't fill one with confidence. What is the likely U.S. response, do you think? More sanctions? What? Well, you know, it's interesting. I think a lot of people, when President Obama spoke today, thought that he was going to say this is a game changer. Ukrainian you know, this government. has been a regional conflict. Now it's an international crisis, uh, and we need to take much tougher action. He didn't do that. Chris, on the subject of the fight in, in Gaza, as the Israelis take the fight to Gaza, the president is calling on them to try to limit civilian casualties. But the Israelis say, hey, uh, we just don't want to have Hamas rockets coming into our territory. Well, that's right. And, and look, what, what country would allow that, would allow thousands of rockets, and it has been thousands of rockets, to be fired into its territory, to have its citizens getting these warnings in the middle of the night, these air raid warnings, having to flee to, to, to bomb shelters. Nobody would allow that to continue. And the thing that's so interesting is that the Israelis have said, look, stop firing the missiles and we will stop our attacks. And the, and the uh, Hamas has refused to stop firing the missiles. An incredibly busy news week. We'll be watching this weekend. Chris, thanks.